Hello. So this message is if you want to join our prayer meetings, which happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12.30 p.m., and they use a service called freeconferencecall.com. These are just via conference call. So you're going to enter a number, you're going to enter a room ID number, and then you should be able to talk on a conference call with everyone else who's participating. So we're going to go through those steps right now. So the information, again, is in that we're going to use is in that email that I sent out. It's also online on our Facebook page and other places. And you see that line that says every Tuesday and Thursday at 1230 p.m. we have a short prayer meeting. So there's a phone number in there. Again, it's not a local number. So make sure you have access to long distance when you call that number. So there's a number and then there's an access code. So here's the steps. Get your phone. Hello, phone. Get the keypad and enter that number. 425-436-6310. Put on speaker. Welcome. This service is provided by freeconferencecall.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound or hash sign. So you'll bring up the keypad and then you'll do your access code, which is 55. Nine four five five. Hit pound. If you are the host, press star now. So you're Otherwise, please wait, and you will be joined into the conference. So you're not a host. Um, I will be, and so you can just wait, and then you might start hearing voices, or they might ask you to announce each other, etc. As people come on. Now, the one thing about this is that. Uh, sometimes the system gets so loaded that you're going to have to call back over and over and over again before you connect. Last time I tried to call in, I had to call in 10 times in a row within four minutes before I finally connected. So that's, if it, you get a, some, a number where it says it's busy or the service isn't available, just keep calling again. Uh, this is the situation right now with everybody trying to shift to online or conference calls, etc. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this um, is something that you can use. And um, if you have any problems, leave me a comment and we will troubleshoot together.